Hey everyone, George here. This is Western Wednesday number 14. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. And can you believe it? It's already October. This year is going by really fast. Since it's, uh, since it's October, I figured, hey, let's do some Western movies with some horror elements, you know? It could be themes like ghostly stuff or just really hardcore, brutal movies or movies that are very creepy in its atmosphere. Whatever the case, we're going to talk about westerns that fit that October mood. And we're going to start it off with Django Kill, If You Live, Shoot, directed by Julio Questi and starring Tomas Millian. This film came out in 1967 and is about Tomas Millian's character, who's the stranger, or you can call him Django, I guess, because that's the title of the movie, but they don't really say his name in the movie. Anyways, uh, you have The Stranger, played by Tomas Millian, and he's a, a half-breed bandit who gets double-crossed by a, a gang of wild gringos, and uh, after they rob a Wells Fargo place, they get the gold and all that stuff, he gets shot up, and he gets buried, buried uh, alive, essentially. They think he's dead, and um, Tomas Millian gets saved by a couple of Indians who accompany him on his journey and travels to get revenge and the gold hopefully the gold from the crazy gringo bandits and the gringo bandits they end up in this crazy bizarre and really unsettling town called the unhappy place and uh they meet Django or the stranger in that town and there's a lot of crazy people in that town and yeah bizarreness ensues Julio Questi also did the movie Death Laid an Egg with Jean-Louis Trintinat, which I think is a fantastic movie and has some really crazy editing. And If You Live, Shoot has some crazy editing as well. And this was called Cesai Vivo Spara in Italy, which is If You Live, Shoot. And here in America, they called it like Django Kill, If You Live, Shoot. Anyways, this the supporting cast is really good. You have Roberto Camardiel. Um, he's a really good actor. He was in Arizona Cult and a bunch of other Italian movies. And he's really good as the bad guy here. He has a bunch of, uh, of, um, wild henchmen, to say the least. They're all, like, dressed in black and kind of have some very homosexual undertones. This movie, in general, has a lot of homosexual undertones and just a really bizarre factor to it. Uh, who else is in the movie? You got Ray Lovelock, a really young Ray Lovelock in the movie and uh, he's really good in the movie overall this is a fantastic spaghetti western if you're into something weird and something trippy this movie is definitely an acid western because the editing is crazy in the movie the uh, the subject matter is bizarre and the characters are wild this is one of the few times where an English dub makes this thing even crazier uh, however I, I recommend the Italian dub because it's it's not as uh wild and just kind of like whoa that's that's really cringy anyways i think it's a fantastic movie i think ivan vandor's score is fantastic i love the theme song overall django kill if you live shoot is a fantastic spaghetti western and it's a movie if you like acid westerns and movies that have a very wild and horrific feel to it and it's a very violent movie for the time this one came out in 1967 and there's a couple of like just really brutal scenes. There's like a scalping scene and a dude getting like cut open and gold bullets being taken out of him. It's it's pretty funny, but it's also really like horrific at the same time. So this is a perfect western for October and uh, yeah, Django Kill if you live shoot. I highly recommend it. I think it's a ten out of ten movie and it's one of my favorite westerns and spaghetti westerns for sure. Tomas Millian is fantastic in the movie, as always. And, yeah, Django Kill if you love shoot. Check it out. So, next week, we will talk about another Western that has a very kind of Octoberish feel. Has a ghostly kind of theme to it. You might know what it is, and you might not. But, tune in next week for Western Wednesday number 15. I hope you all take care and stay safe. Bye.